Hey guys, welcome to another edition of MacBrief Studio. This week, I want to show you three things that will really come in handy when you want to perform matched action edits. They're the event viewer, the slip tool, and the slide tool. It's going to be fun. I have opened a timeline of a Russian ballerina. In one particular shot, she performs a series of grand jetés across the dance floor. My friend Abba shot this move several times with the same camera, sometimes covering her moves with a wide shot and sometimes in a close-up. He did not shoot this scene with two cameras, but I want to edit it as if he did. I'll skim to a frame in the wide shot that I want to cut to a close-up. Skimming over the clip, I'm looking for a frame where her right foot makes contact with the floor. For convenience, I've placed a marker at this frame, and I'll park the playhead here. Now I want to find a matched action shot in the browser from one of his close-ups. This is where the event viewer comes in, because I need to see a side-by-side -side comparison of both shots in order to determine where to make my edits. From the window menu, I'll choose Show in Workspace, Event Viewer, or use the shortcut Control command 3 Now when you select any clip and skim it in the browser, the video appears in its own window, completely independent from the main viewer. I'll locate the close-up of her feet, then skim over it, looking for a good place to set my endpoint. Here, at frame 25, her foot makes contact with the floor, and because I can still see the image of the wide shot in the viewer, this seems like the best place to mark the endpoint. So I'll do just that by pressing I. I'll then skim to the frame just as her left foot begins to leave the floor and press O to close the range. Before I make the edit, I'll set the video edit mode pop-up to video only, then perform an overwrite edit by clicking this button or pressing D on the keyboard. Let's play that back to see how it looks. That looks pretty good, but you may find that you'll need to adjust the clip's in and out points or the clip's placement to get the timing exactly right. The best tools for this are the slip and or slide trimming tools. From the toolbar, select the Trim tool or press T on the keyboard. If you move your mouse over the clip, you'll see an icon that indicates a slip edit. Notice that selecting the clip selects the in and out points of the clip as indicated by the yellow brackets. You would use this tool to make slight trim adjustments to the in and out point you originally set in the browser. Notice as I drag on the clip, a two-up window appears in the viewer showing how my adjustment is affecting the in and out point of the clip in the timeline. Dragging to the right will slip the clip earlier in time, and dragging to the left will slip the clip later in time. The great thing about the slip tool is that neither the duration of the clip nor its placement in the timeline is ever changed. Because your adjustments will most likely require only a frame or two, I recommend using the comma and period keys on your keyboard to slip the clip earlier or later rather than your mouse. A complementary tool you'll find useful is the slide tool. You would use this tool when you wanted to change the clip's placement in time, but not its content. To bring up the slide tool, you need to use a modifier key. Hold down Option and select the clip. This time, instead of the clip's in and out point being selected, the edit points on the adjacent clips are selected. As I drag, the two-up window is now showing me the adjusted out point of the outgoing wide shot and the adjusted in point of the incoming wide shot. Notice as I move the clip, I'm basically doing a dynamic overwrite of the clips on either side of it. And just like with the slip tool, you can use the comma and period keys to slide the clip left or right. So if you weren't already familiar with these tools, you now have some awesome new tricks up your sleeve for quickly shaping your story. And if I haven't said so already, thank you for watching and subscribing to our channel. I'll see you next week.